actually for me, girlfriend, as well as the Stevie Wonder song that he wrote for me, um, I Can't Help It. And uh, I was just so happy to do, to work with such wonderful people. Because I love professionals, people who are just incredible at their work. And I just want to just keep, you know, doing that. And being with those people learning and growing and experiencing that whole thing I think it's great when Michael's in the in the studio does he is it important to him to get a to go for a vocal straight away <clears throat> or does he kind of build up to doing the one when you're in the studio does it do you uh um oh, but I see do you have to go for a vocal straight away or do you have to build up to it when you're in the studio? Um, no, I, I do vocals uh, pretty quick. Uh, Sometimes you do have to get into the song and have the right mood. But for instance, Ben I did in one take. I went right in and, and cut it and and I said, want to do another one? And the guy said, no, no, it was great. I said, was it? And And that's how that came about. And, but I did two versions of Ben. I did, um, the one you heard in the movie was another version. The one I did for the record was another version, which I did in one take. And uh, that was at Motown. And I'll never forget that little Apple box I stood on because I couldn't reach the microphone. And my name was written on it. <laughs> and uh, it's sitting at Diana Ross's house now. She, she has all my little doodling papers I would draw and write. I was going to ask him, ask Michael, which he enjoys most, the, the studio or, or being on stage. Which do you enjoy most, Mike, the studio or being on stage? That's that is kind of a difficult question because I'm crazy about both. <clears throat> because the studio gives you the opportunity to be on stage, um, especially if you want an incredible crowd. Uh, but I think stage would be my mm -hmm. favorite. I just enjoy entertaining. It's the best. The best, really. Does he actually mm -hmm. find it hard to keep from dancing when he's in the studio? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, that is my problem. <laughs> that is my problem. I'm just dancing Gotta around and still. I have to, yeah, hard to keep still, moving around from the mic. <laughs> that is a big problem for me, around here, too. <laughs> Does he work very hard on his on his dancing? He just uh, oh, from <laughs> the question, do you work very hard on your dancing? <laughs> no, um, I should, but I don't. I really should, you know. Like once we get in the room and we just throw around a couple of ideas, uh, but I don't. <laughs> I just. Whatever you see me do, it's, it's spontaneous reactions on stage. It's nothing planned. It's nothing that I got in the room and, and tried to think of hard, you know. It just happens through feeling. It sounds as if, um, like all Michael says about being looked up by Barry Gordy and Diana Ross and his parents and, you know, all through his career, that, um, you know, he's, he has been really looked after. And I just wonder whether he has ex any explanation that, um, I suppose, he could, that there is so much kind of feeling in his voice. I mean, you could understand it in, you know, like a, a Billy Holiday. I wonder if Michael has any explanation as to why he's able to, I don't know if you're going to be able to put this on the cross, <laughs> but, um, you know, how that he can put across in his voice, you know, so he can make people feel happy yeah. and make them feel sad. Do you have any explanation of, you mean for people to feel what you feel while you're singing? Mm. Mm. What you feel? There is no real explanation. There is no real, um, it's nothing having to do with personal experience. Um, when I act, I'm, uh, that it is through acting, but through my singing, it's just uh, 
I just say it's simple as possible, just godly, really. It's just like I, I've said this before when I was small, I, I didn't really know what I was doing. I just sang and it just came out sounding pretty good. <laughs> uh, I just do it and it happens. It's I can't explain it or it's uh, some people, I hate to say the word, some people call it talent or some people call it whatever, but it just come about. It was, it's no real personal experience or anything that make it come across it's just feeling and in God, I'll say, mainly God. Smokey Robinson <coughs> has always been my big hero. And um, I've just, I mean, recently especially, been thinking that, um, you know, Michael deserves a, a place up there on the pedestal with him. I wonder whether he compares himself to Smokey as a singer. Do you compare yourself to Smokey Robinson as a singer? Uh, that would be quite nice because um, Smokey has quite a following, a big audience. Uh, I, it's hard to me to, to say I'm this or I'm that. I always just accept what the public make of a thing because uh, it's for them, really. I'm, I, I really believe and feel I'm here for a reason, and that's my job, you know, to perform for the people. And if they accept it, that I'm rewarded. If they want to put me up on that pedestal, I feel even better. But uh, I can't say that uh, I'm, I'm as good as Smokey. I can't say that. Was Michael influenced at all by Smokey or, or anyone else that he can think of? <clears throat> Were you influenced by Smokey or anyone else that you can think of? Yes. Um, I've... I would say, speaking of a hundred percent level, I would give um, fifty percent to Motown. Coming up, growing up with Motown, and I give uh, a lot of that percentage to James Brown, Jackie Wilson, and all those different great entertainers. And my time in the theater, experiencing the theater, we played the theater for so long the best experience in the world. Uh, just sitting on the wings and learning. Oh, I ate that up. And now, uh, I like all kind of music. I like all kind of people. I loved the Beatles. I love folk music. Uh, um, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Stevie Wonder is my main favorite. And um, I like all kind of music. 